Okay, hi everybody. This is my new bass. Uh, it's an upright bass made by Samuel Eastman. Um, it's a VB90 and it's a fully carved spruce top and laminated sides and back. It has uh, an ebony fingerboard and an ebony tailpiece um, and an adjustable bridge. Um, I got this in June of this year, 2014. So I've had it for several months now. Uh, I'm a newbie, so I'm taking some lessons to learn how to drive this thing. And um, I like it a lot. Uh, it has an adjustable bridge, like I said. When I got it uh, out of the factory, um, the action was way too high for my liking at that time. Uh, even if I had lowered the, uh, the adjusters all the way, the bridge all the way down with the adjusters. So I took it to my local uh, music repair shop and um, they have a couple of luthiers there, and uh, so he took some uh, wood off the top of the bridge and got it uh, just to my liking, so now it's perfect. Um, not sure what kind of strings were on it to begin with. Um, I think they told me they were entry-level Daddario's. They're okay, but I decided to uh, upgrade and I replaced them with uh, strings from Tomastic Infeld. Um, I think they're called Del Canto. Bel Canto, probably. I don't know. Anyway, I like them a lot. And uh, what else did I do with it? Oh, uh, so there's a, a great website for bass players called uh, Gallier Music. And they've got all kinds of cool stuff for basses. And one thing that I got right away were these edge protectors. They're uh, leather. Um, they're like padded with self-adhesive strips on the back. So I put those on because um, I just didn't want to risk dragging the edge of the base on the ground and damaging the wood right away um, when I sit it down. So that's pretty much it. Oh, I also replaced the end pin, uh, you can see it, uh, rubber piece with this ball that I also got at uh, Gallier Music um, because the factory uh, cover on the, end, on the end pin was uh, the end pin is very pointy, it's steel, and it's sharp, and it was starting to poke through the original rubber, and I uh, really didn't want to see uh, holes drilled through my hardwood floors at home, so I got that. It looks pretty indestructible, and it's got some uh, uh, set screws on there that you can really tighten it down so it stays on firmly. Anyway, this is my um, Eastman base, and I like it a lot. I think you will, too, if you buy one.